Hi guys, so today I have something new to share with you uh, from Tonic. They did send this uh, item free of charge. It wasn't so much for review, it's just so I would have it, but I always just say for review because that makes it simple. <laughs> and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase. I'm still those links. So I think I'm going to let this be my freeform Friday since it's just... You know whatever it is that I want to do with this to play with this uh, set here so this is the new stamp club um, launches today and it lasts until it sells out and um, it's called hey snow me I believe <laughs> let's see oh look at okay well so we have a stencil which is really great I love tonic stencils uh, this one has like the little snowflakes on the top and then it's like falling snow here the bottom part and you know it's a few inches let's see it's like let's see uh, like two and a half inches by four and a quarter ish so works out really nice on the top of like a standard two size card or move it around for whatever it is you want to do slim line really cute um okay and then we have our stamp set let me sit down for a second uh, of course these are photopolymer stamps and i get samples so mine might show up a little bit differently packaged than like yours uh, we have sending warm holiday hugs chilling with my snowmies hey snowmy can't wait to you know thank you so much chill with you this holiday season i'm so glad i get to i wish i could you are so much so much fun that's really sweet really great for this year especially um and then we have our little trees all these individual um, snowflakes a little family and then the little guys here sledding on a cute little like wood sled. Some stars. A snowflake there. And then, this is always so much fun. Um, with the stamp club, I've noticed more and more um, uh, Maria, she's the designer, has pieces where you can just uh, create whatever it is. So um, if it's like a flower, then you can like paper piece of flower. So this one has the snowman. Of course, it has the dies to cut out the little snowmen that we have here and the trees and even the snowflakes and the stars. Um, there are some other uh, items here, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, possibly. I'm not sure if these match up with this or it's just its own, but you can use it on its own, right? It's like delicate. It has little holes. But what I'm trying to say is here we have all these pieces that you can make a snowman or snow people, however it is that you want to design them because there's different uh, layers. The little eye the eyeballs, <laughs> the mouth, <laughs> like little coal mouth. You have this to cut out like a gift, and then you have the little topper for the gift, like a ribbon. And um, let me see here, I'm trying to spot what else is here for the gifts. Oh, the little mugs! Oh my gosh, you guys, just for the mugs, look at <laughs> cute this one's kind of a little shorter and rounder you know chubbier this way this one's like more of a tall stylized mug again oh here's it i was looking for the bow for the gift and it was right in that same spot and then so there's another gift here we have the bow and this would be the cross the uh, part for that right where the ribbon crosses and then the other gift box is up here um little hat it looks like a scarf or accessory piece however you like to do it some uh, clouds it looks like we have more of a scarf here little mittens um, to make his or her um, earmuffs. We have <laughs> little noses and all different styles, different little pieces of coal or however you want to cut those out, little uh, branch arms. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and then here we have Holly and the little Holly. Oh my gosh, you guys. Different ways to top off his little hat if you want to use this like knit hat. Um, another scarf. I mean, there's just lots of styles and this really, really sweet. So what I'm gonna do is grab some items and we will make a little something. Okay guys, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do another candle today. I know we did one recently using a, um, a flameless candle, right? So these are inexpensive at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, they're a dollar. <laughs> and um, they do have some wax coating on them. So I just wanna carefully remove this so I can show that to you. So that's gonna help. So what we need is some wax paper, we need tissue paper, and then we'll do the same kind of trick that we did not too long ago and so I'm just simply going to stamp maybe some of the trees the little snowmen and I hope you can see it does have a little bit of wax on that so hopefully that'll help us put our image onto our candle okay so I learned a little bit last time I did this that <laughs> it stamps right through and so what I want to do is I'm still going to use my stamping tool but I am going to lay down like this rubber mat and honestly I can just probably go right to the rubber mat because I don't I'm not going to stick this down so my stamping tool will probably move anyway if, if that was to restamp 
but I'm going to put this down. And we just need a little bit of tissue paper. Now, tissue paper does have two sides. One side's a little more rough, one side's a little more smooth. And you know what? I don't think I kept the smooth side up last time, so I'll keep it with the smooth side up. But however you want to stamp it or try it out, you can definitely do that. Um, I think to give it a little more color. What do you want to do? Do you want to do the little family? Let's see what fits on here also. Aww. Okay, let's do the little family. Now, I know, know that some of the colors were bleeding last time, so we are going to use alcohol ink markers and we'll just see what happens. And just make the best of it, regardless of whatever happens there. And if it doesn't work out for me the first stamping, I will stamp it again. I just in a different spot. Because I'm going right for it, and usually uh, photopolymer stamps have like a little gooiness to them. Uh, you want that dispersion layer you want to take off. So it might make a difference here, but hopefully I can get it stamped just this whole first time. And since I have that rubber mat behind there, it'll help also push my image up. Oh my gosh, look how fine and cute that is. And I might stamp a tree or two. Or maybe this same, this small one, a couple times. Um, we do want some of this extra paper. We're going to remove it. Actually, what's funny is that we have the dies this time. I wonder if I can cut it with, cut it with the dies. Um, but I'm just going to stamp two of these little trees and just let it dry and I'll be right back. Stamp, you know, let me just cut this down, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to color them in just like if this was paper. Unfortunately, my pad, my stamp pad fell out of my hand. But funny enough, it fell in an area that I'm going to color black anyway, so it's not going to make a problem, but I'll show you what I mean right now. I went to ink up my tree and my pad fell out of my hand and I was like, no! So it got right on there. I was like, okay, well I'm going to color that black or dark gray anyhow, so we'll just leave that alone. Do our best. Again, this paper doesn't really take to like um, different layers of color um, shading, I guess I should say. So like I'll do green and I'm just going to kind of, you gotta, you, you don't have to take too much care because like I said, it, it really doesn't allow for too much shading. So I'm really just getting the green color in here and then I'll come in with a darker green, but it's not going to make too much difference. So again, I'm leaving it kind of messy, kind of fun, and I'll come in with like this darker green. And if you pick it up, you'll see that already gave it a little bit of texture, just that green. I'll move this. It goes right through. I mean, look all the stamping I did. It went right through to this. And maybe I'll add some of this darker green. And it might show up. It might not. <laughs> so I'm not going to be too particular with it. Same thing with our little people. I'll just color them in. You know, as much color as I can get, but it's not going to be too, too much, especially because they're snowmen, so that's white. And then um, everything else is just adding a little texture, a little color here and there. I'll put a little brown stump on that. But hopefully you can kind of see. This one did a little bit better, actually. A little more shading. Just kind of fun. We're just going to stick this to our candle. It's not a big deal. Um, again, you know, colors that are deep enough to see. I wonder, like this little guy, for his little hat. Maybe I'll come back in and do a different shading there. And then his little scarf. And a little, you know, orange nose, black buttons, and like a brown arm, right? Just a, li just a very little. I'm not even going to color our snowman in because there's not point, uh, no point to do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have it all done. I would put something more like paper behind this because what happens is this mat doesn't absorb color and it comes back through sometimes. So just to be more careful with that. Um, so I cut out two of the little trees. So what I'm going to do is just run them through, guys, <laughs> just like that. So now we have our shape because if you recall, um, you want to cut kind of close to your image so you can get it put onto your candle. So that's what I'm going to do. I just use my dies to cut these pieces out. I have a sentiment here that we may or may not use. We'll see. But yeah, just run it through just like that. I'm going to put tape on these outer edges so I don't mess up my image at all. So what I mean by that is like out here. I'm not going to put it anywhere close to my little project. Okay. And cut that out. Okay. I'll be back. Just want to show you how easy. Look at that. At, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it even looks better on the back side, or if you want to use that side. I'm wondering how it would work if we used our ink on this back side, since, like I said, it's more matte here and this is shiny. I use the shiny side, but you know, however you want to do it. Okay, I'll keep cutting. I'll be right back. Okay. Last little guy. And then we have, again, a sentiment. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle every bit of this, but because we kind of have to hold it on while we're working with it. So I'm going to 
just trim around here not leaving too much edge and then also what we learned last time we did this is that sometimes the alcohol inks start uh, moving <laughs> the color starts moving so we want to quickly just as soon as you see that this is stuck down move on right so let me grab a piece of this that's about six inches wide I would say and again this side seems more waxy than this side to me so I don't know if you can see how this one looks dull this one looks shiny we want that wax so that's gonna be facing our candle but um, I think did I retrust this out? Yeah. Okay. And we have our heat tool here. So let's see what we want to do. Let's say our little guy is here. And I was thinking about adding trees, but again, <laughs> you know, it's just more to hold on to and kind of more to uh, worry about as we're working. That's cute. And then we have this piece here. Oopsie. As you can see, things are just holding on for some reason. Uh, again, I want that wax facing this way. And this is going to take me a little... I might have to just lay this down. This is going to be a little bit tricky for me to get this tree on here. Nope, higher up, higher up, up here. I'm letting that static electricity hold that guy there. <laughs> And then watch out for his little arm. Looks like I'm bending his arm over here. I'm gonna fix that. We can hold, let go of that tree. Okay, I'm just fixing his little arm. That still looks good. Aww. And we can see our family. Maybe bring this sending warm holiday hugs more this way. Now, this is because I'm choosing to put a bunch of stuff down at the same time. Of course, you don't have to. This is already sticking. Okay. You know what? Let's just leave it at that. Okay, and then I'm already holding my other tree there. And then we have this little guy. Maybe somewhere like there. Maybe here. Ooh, this this is a... Okay, sorry. I'm looking at, I need to fix that. So I'm going to open this up a little bit on this side. And just, even though this is wanting to stick for whatever reason, I'm going to move it over a little bit. Just a little further over. Yeah, like that. Okay, now I'm going to hold this down. Ambitious. There's a very ambitious project here as far as I'm holding all these pieces. But again, what we're going to do is hold it tight. Turn on your heat tool. Now I'm going to put it on low because I don't think it needs to be super high. And just hit it. And once you see that it's shiny, move on. You'll see. It starts getting shiny. See right there? That's already good enough. I don't know if you can see that. It just gets a little bit shiny. And just move on. If you stick around too long, the ink will start running and it's just not good. You see the letters getting darker? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Oops, sorry. Across the whole thing, I don't need you to hear all this loud noise, but see how it looks much brighter than like this or like this tree? And that's how you know it's staying, okay? Okay, guys, so the time I was going like this, and so once I got over here, it got a little hot in my hand, I just turned my arm upside down like this and then just kept doing it on this side, okay? All right, moment of truth. <laughs> Especially since this is a reusable candle or, you know. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ooh, it's really on there. It is really on there. I... You see this all the time back in the day, obviously with regular candles, it's the first time I've done it with one of these kind, but I mean, you guys. And then if there's something else you wanted to add, I didn't have to do it all at once, I just wanted to be careful and do it all at once, <laughs> and that's what I did. But we could have done this in several different, you know, um, pieces, like, okay, I had this one, now I'll get another piece, put that guy down, put the wrap on it. I mean, oh my gosh. And let me turn off these lights and see what it looks like. If I can turn off most of the lights, we'll see. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's still too bright in here. Hold on. Let me turn, turn off this other light. Look, and we have our little characters. Oh, my gosh. So cute. So, I mean, there's just tons that you can do with this set. But just a real quick something. Like I said, next time maybe I'll do a piece at a time. But <laughs> how cute. A little crooked there. Um... 
yeah, really fun. Check that out. All right, guys, I'll have the links in the description box again to launch this today, and I will see you at the next one. Thank you so much, Tonic, for sending these to play with. Bye now.